and so can you give us perhaps just a brief history of how you think that we've come to this uh, place in time with these current problems? You know, I, 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 I want to give this perspective, I, that I see humanity as um, we have a real purpose on this planet. In fact, I would call us, I would, I would say that we are an expression of the consciousness of this planet. Uh, we're a very unique expression of the consciousness of this planet. Uh, and, we, and as such, we have a real function to serve, just like an earthworm has a function to serve and a tree has a function to serve on this planet, uh, filling a niche and uh, contributing to the well-being of the whole ecosystem. Uh, unfortunately, I, I see human beings as still in a very adolescent, immature uh, uh, stage as far as our recognition of that responsibility. We're still uh, in our infancy and we're still uh, trying to learn how to walk and fall, falling down and, uh, and looking for our needs to be filled and met rather than understanding that what we truly are and have the capacity of being is meeting the needs of, um, of our planet on, on terms of uh, uh, ecological systems and the way we are creators, we have the ability to shape and to uh, manipulate um, things tangibly. You know, we can create new technologies and create uh, uh, objects and, and manifest that, unlike almost any other creature on this planet. And, but it's what, what do we do with that capacity and that potentiality? What do we do with that expression? Are we purely just engaged in, um, you know, satiating our baser desires, you know, or is that potential here for a greater purpose? And I say that it is, that, that ultimately, I hope that we will mature to the point where we see our collective responsibility as enhancing the, uh, you know, not everything, enhancing uh, our, our relationship to ecology, uh, uh, the way that nature works, understanding the way things work, and implementing that understanding in a reciprocal way that helps to um, uh, uh, foster harmony and, and uh, abundance and uh, meeting the needs of, of all, all things on this planet. Um, and I would say living things, but, but you know, the ocean to me is a, almost uh, a living thing. And, and uh, you know, the ocean has needs and, and polluting it as we have done and uh, thinking that it can be the ultimate reservoir for all of our toxic waste and, and what have you, um, you know, eventually we're going to see that we're going to diminish uh, the capacity of the ocean to uh, provide all of the things that it provides from, for us, and from food to oxygen, uh, you know, to weather patterns and everything else. Everything is interrelated and interdependent, including us. And once we become mature enough to understand our responsibility, hopefully we can play a, the part that we need to play in relationship to uh, uh, all other things on this planet. You know, we definitely do have an effect on how other things um, on this planet play out. And hopefully we can uh, come to terms and come to that realization before, you know, we exterminate ourselves. And I know that sounds kind of um, hard, but you know, that, that's the potentiality that we face if we don't learn some of these lessons.